Welcome back, friends and family, today. First and foremost, I want to apologize. It's been a while since I've posted a video. I'm going through a divorce at the moment. My wife left me uh, end of September. My in-laws came over. They packed everything. Shit, went, shit really went down here. And um, yeah, but I'd rather talk about cars and lowriders than yeah, this shit. So anyhow, Lowrider Magazine, November 1993. That's what I want to talk about today. Uh, beautiful cover art, a uh, 63 Chevy Impala. Beautiful, clean looking. And a uh, shout out to everyone from Denver that reaches out. You guys have such a, a, a long lowridering history in, in Denver and Colorado Springs. And you guys always reach out, share your stories, share history with us. Thank you so much. Anyhow, let's get this started. This is what's waiting for us today. As always, if you want to read something, just hit the pause. I try to get everything in the picture. Nice engraving. Nice art. I would love to have all the old Lowrider Tour shirts. They're so cool. Almost skipped the page. There we have a blazer. 54 Chevy. Oh, a 63 Biscayne with the post. That makes a nice car. The first car I was ever driving illegally on the streets of LA was a 63 Chevy Biscayne. And I drove to LAX in the middle of the night though, but like I was scared I got like someone pulls me over, but uh, it all went good. Wow, uh, El Camino with a butterfly hood, stacked square headlights, suicide doors, a Hollywood top on, a, on an El Camino. I've never seen that before. Wish we had more photos of this thing. That thing looks cool. And there we have a dually. This thing is cool and this is like, like good memories. <laughs> Nice 66. Man, those shirts. What that Vemi tank. That's hydraulics in Japan. And then we have Denver. Wow. Low rider of the low rider bomb of the year. That 38 was badass. Look at that thing. What a good looking car. There we have a, what is that, a 65? Hmm, clean. 62. Ford Escort. Nice mini truck. And a Suzuki Samurai. Crazy. I love the heart there. But that 38, what a beautiful car. And that thing too, I just love all the 90s bombs. There were, everything was gold, everything was candy. It's just so cool. No front bumper, by the way. Not many accessories besides the the visor and it's a panel. And that's that's cool. There we have a 69 beautiful uh, paint on that thing. And also a Hollywood top. What's that? Uh, Catalina? 
the taillights more look like a Lincoln to me, but the roof definitely looks like a, a, a GM. That's the same roof as a, as a 64 Chevy Impala, I think. Crazy. Nice Cadillac. Another Suzuki. To summarize, we're hot back in the day. I think like every drug dealer had one. Uh, Easy E had one. I know a guy who had one. Uh, also like on 15 inch and hydraulics and everything. White guy, uh, but like cool car. And more from the Denver show. That's some kind of Pontiac. Nice 63. Nice Riviera, nice wheels, some true spokes, I guess. 64, a lot of pinstriping on that thing. That's a weird looking Cadillac. I couldn't even name those Cadillacs. Like, I just know like the big body Kallax, but this thing, I, I've never seen that thing before. Wow, beautiful, beautiful looking 63 Chevy Impala. Nice paint, nice interior, uh, standing hydraulic setup. Just look at that. Wow, the, the heart line, everything heart lined. So nice, eh? What a nice looking setup. The interior, I, I, I wish more people would do that nowadays. The whole mini truck thing comes back, but like no one is doing stuff like this no more. The mural is badass. Crazy engraved. What a clean looking car. What a this beautiful car. Crazy. I always wonder if you have a setup like this, how you, you know, like fill it up because you get everything else dirty. You probably need like a funnel that like screws in or something. And then don't make it too full. You probably like, I'd, I don't know, like I worked on like a show motorcycles and you have like a, those big injector things, you know, and then you, you carefully fill up stuff so you don't overfill it. So a nightmare, but it looks clean, looks nice. The return line goes where you usually would fill it up, I guess. And uh, it's just deltas. This sucks that it just uses delta pumps. I mean, they are last long, but I don't know. That it, it looks cool though. It looks cool if they all stand up. Usually guys would it have would have it the other way. I think my 38, the bomb of the year from Whitey, I think he had it the other way. And most of the time in the 90s when they went a little bit crazy with hydraulic uh, setups, they had them the other way because there's this this snorkel, you know, where like uh, like an oil pump has this thing that's like sitting at the lowest a point of your oil pump, oil pan, sorry, can't speak no more. And you would have like some kind of snorkel that goes down there, but I don't really know. A Saturn. And Red's Hydraulics is installing a Euro setup. If you guys watch uh, Hoppos, they recently did that on the Kelly Boy giveaway car that he he has that Nissan Sentra. Seven. 
that on. There were Saturns for a while at every chunk yard. Like every chunk yard I hit, you would see a Saturn. And the weird thing, I think, that all the body parts are plastic. I don't know about this section here, but the fenders, the hood, everything is plastic or like fiberglass or something like that. And the engine, they have the same engine that Ecotech, that Saab used to have. And like the, what, what else? Like some other little uh, Chevy used to have that thing, like a Chevy Beretta or something like that also had that weird Ecotech engine. And uh, the Saab actually had the best casting or something. I, I, I forgot, sorry. Nice. The paint on this thing looks nice. Oh, oh, you you guys probably know that car. I bet if if you know this car, the name of that car, what is it now? Let me know down in the comments. Oh, look at those girls. Nice 62. Wow, beautiful, beautiful Chevy. Laces, panels, hydraulics. Love the color combination, the brown and the gold. Wheels look good, <laughs> those 15 inches. They really fit some cars, especially like newer 90s cars. They look good. Like this looks good. So we have two Fox Body Mustangs. And uh, I just love the wheels. Interior looks clean. That interior looks looks cool too, but I, like I, okay, I, I said this is cool, but in this case, I probably would go with that. Then we have the the cover car, I think also lowrider of the month probably. 63 on some rays, looks beautiful. Those are like true classics. Oh and it's it's blue and dark panels. Like black or is that dark blue? That thing looks Badass. I didn't even see that on the cover and I didn't really see that here. Crazy, that looks cool. That really does look cool. Wow. Lowrider of the month, November 1993. Looks good on three. Man, the interior is nice. Stick shift? Hell no. Is this a stick shift? And so many batteries. Crazy. Two pumps. How many batteries? I can't even count. Like 10? I don't know. And sometimes I would love to read those to you, but I'm the worst at reading. I'm like not really good. So you rather pause and read that to yourself. Now we're in, in British Columbia. The Mazda RX-7. 
I always wanted one of those. They, there used to be a time when those things were super cheap and no one cared. And you want to port or like, like bridge port them or whatever that is. And like a long time ago, I went to check out a car and the guy had like an RX-7 place or whatever. He had this, like this little thing, it's a two chamber rotary, I think. And it had like a big old, like 750 Holly double pumper on that thing. And he said like, it just runs fine. It's, it's like in, insane. Those are fun. Those are really fun. But then you also, you know, it's, it's, it's always one turn of the key away from like blowing up your engine or it's like eating up a seal or whatever. Supra is nice. I had a Celica, an 84 Celica like this, but the Celica, no, hold on. The Celica has those lights. I think this is a Celica. I think this is not a Supra. I know the Supra doesn't have those lights there. The Supra has, or the XX, or this is a Japanese one. I, I have no idea. There's probably someone in the comments who knows exactly what kind of car that is and what, what I used to have. But I had a 84 US, USDM or whatever it's called, Celica, and I always wanted the Supra uh, vents that go in there and it looks way better. And the taillights are different almost every year, I think, if I remember. Right, I don't know. There we have an El Camino. Looks nice in that, that purple. Give you guys some close-ups. This is clean, simple, but good looking. Four pumps. Nice, nice underneath. Everything chromed and painted. Yeah, good looking car. And a sidekick. And don't ever make fun of the Suzuki Samurais and the sidekicks. Every member of the NWA used to have one. Easy E had one and then, like a Suzuki Samurai first and then they all had Suzuki uh, sidekicks. Uh, talking about like like gangster chi rides and stuff. The filter factory. A, a beautiful helmet with a PCAT visor. Nice. Beautiful. That's nice too. Sometimes those, you know, like the late 30s cars without a visor, a sun visor, they also can look like clean, you know, if if they're done right. Look, this looks good. Nice Kelleck. Another Escort. But this one looks cool, like the paint and the gold. This thing looks cool. Wow, Joe Epstein's voice. Oh, those cars are just over the top, I think. Just over the top. The 39, the 37. That's a Ford, what, what is that? I can't even see that, what that is. It's a 47. Beautiful, fastback. Now this is what, what I don't understand. Now this visor I was told came from the factory stock or you could buy it at the, the dealership. Like many visors you could. This is a Fulton and this, I, I don't even know the name for that. This is a PCAT. Now this goes for big money. But if you look at, you know, how they look, 
The only difference is how this swipes down. I even think that the middle piece, this says peak at this, is, like this doesn't say anything, but they look the same. I, I have both in my hands already. My car has this and I had a peak at. And um, I can't really tell the difference because even the measurements, they're kind of the same. And I heard of, of, of people who use those and cut them straight down to have the peak at look but then the middle uh, piece is different, but they do um, like repops. There are so many like repops out there. So I, I, I don't even know. Mine is rusty, so I'm cool with that. And I know it's a, it's a real one, but uh, yeah. So much on that. But clean looking, like those, those 39s, they always just look so gangster. Like what a clean looking car, look at the interior. Beautiful. Beautiful. And it's not too much, you know, it's not no sight markers, no no passing eye, no fault and sun visors. I mean he has those side things on there, but like other than that it's like pretty normal. With fender skirts in the back. Beautiful. Beautiful cover. One of my favorite lowrider bicycle magazine covers. Just looks so cool. Wow, really cool. The panty puller and should be more like a panty dropper. But badass G-Body Monte, like badass interior. Just loved interior, I love the color. This is what you just see in Japan nowadays, I think, you know, just like, just there's so much goodness, you know, like the interior is just like on point, a Hollywood top, the paint, awesome. What a, this awesomeness. Up, up, up and sun upholstery, so you know that's like the best. Crazy, just look at that for a moment, my cat. Can't do it. Sucks there's not more on this thing. This thing is beautiful. Oh, sorry, now I have my cat here. As always, if I do a video, he needs to come in and be loud and and do something. And, and guys, let me know if you were one of the... Like, if you ever send a letter to Lowrider Magazine, a photo to Lowrider Magazine, the love lines or something like that, let me know. Let me know, it's always cool to get in touch with people who were there at the time. And yeah, sorry guys. Why don't you just go away? <laughs> I'm sorry, the cat is just doing his thing. That thing is badass, a 62 Chevy rack top. Badass, and thank God it's not a dunk. A beautiful wedding picture from Rialto. Oh, 
nice Lincoln. Is that a Lincoln Continental? I, I think that's a Lincoln Continental. Cool. Beautiful artwork. Just beautiful. Crazy. That is cool. This is beautiful, beautiful artwork. Cool. Okay, we are almost through. I hit the love lines real quick and let me know if you know anyone or yourself or anyone that ever did that. Like wrote a love line, sent a love line to a Little Rider magazine for their loved ones. Let me know. I think it's so cool. It's like one of those cool, the coolest thing. I used to as a kid read through those and like try to remember the right quote for the one that I like or whatever. It helps sometimes. And uh, shout out to um, uh, uh, Kevin and Kate because he's uh, he told me one time he, he used to do that too. He would write those down and like tell his 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 girlfriend or the girls at school. Beautiful t-shirts, beautiful art. This is so cool. Everything is cool. Okay, thanks for watching. And I promise you guys, I will see you in the next one soon. I'm gonna do another one for November for sure. And I do a couple for the holidays for December. So I'm I'm sure I have a couple cool ones. And then next year you you're gonna see a a couple like in depth lowrider of the years where the cars are now and all that stuff, okay? So thanks for watching, see you in the next one, bye.